ジャニーズ<笑>あー Hello、oh. Hi, oh my god, is that Corazon de Bay near the human pirate rogue? Yes, it is, everyone! Hello! <laughs> Welcome to EGX and to this live and special Lux venture. Woo! I am him, that guy I just said, or Corazon. <laughs> uh, I'm Egbert, the Dragonborn Paladin. Hi, look solid, corporeal. Yes! <laughs> In the flesh. I'm Prudence, the Tiefling Warlock, and uh, you can see the front of me and now exclusively the back of me as well. No longer on Zoom. In person. So real. I'm Dob, the half orc bard, and that delay was because I'm trying to replicate what we did on Zoom, where everything had a, <laughs> just a few milliseconds You're out because everyone's more comfortable with that. I can't hear you, Dob. You're on mute. <laughs> I just oh, sorry. Sorry, I was saying, I'm Dob, the half orc bard, Got and I was just doing that little delay to try and make everyone a bit more comfortable because that's what we used to do on Zoom. No, you're still on mute, sorry. Uh, hello, I am Meryl in the Wood Elf Druid. But raise your hand if you want. Oh, sorry, yeah, can I? Hi, I'm Merowen the Wood Elf Druid. Hello, everyone. It's not all going to be Zoom jokes. <laughs> Mostly. It's all. 90%. There's one more. I'm literally everyone else in the world, and I'm wearing trousers! Yay! Yay! What a treat. <laughs> this adventure begins in the beautiful tourist town of Folk's Bounty. Where uh, you have all decided uh, to go because following the events of uh, a little little saga you may know as the Apocalypse, uh, you felt like maybe you could do with a little little bit of a rest. Um, a folks... long rest? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always worth checking. Back in Always the game, baby. Checking. I cast grease. <laughs> Um, Folk's Bounty is actually one of the most famous tourist spots in all of Geth. Um, it's just never occurred to you to visit it before because you've been busy doing other mostly horrible things to, um, to various people across the land. Um, Folk's Bounty is uh, a famous spot which is, is home to a wondrous wizard. Oh no. With a magical book. <laughs> Don't worry. I like the sound of this guy. They've all got a bloody book. Anything this wizard writes in the book becomes true. Now, in the hands of the wrong person, or possibly people, that could be very, very bad. But this is uh, quite a, 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 a benevolent wizard. This wizard has used this power to make a delightful town that is free from, from woe, from want, from, uh, from, from illness and, and ill repute. Um, and what he does is he, he sits there every morning, um, and he hears the people. They come and say, it would be nice if you could write something in your book to fix this. Uh, and then he makes adjustments uh, every evening, and it's an idyllic little town, and you've just turned up in it. Oh, did, uh -oh. <laughs> did he write that in the book that we turn up? Uh, this, well, some things come to pass in, uh, in Folk's Bounty that are not foreseen by the book. Not everything is written because we don't have an auto queue. Right, okay. Well, here we are, friends, folks, bounty. Can't wait to have some R&R. &R. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Let's take a dip. <laughs> yeah, let's get some, in, yeah, in what? Uh, there is a pond. In the pond? <laughs> in this ornamental pond. Okay. Look, there's a koi. We're eating tonight. And I jump in. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fish. set up a sun lounger by the pond. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna uh, get some umbrella drinks because they don't want an umbrella drink. Yeah, I'll take an umbrella drink. Okay, thank you. Cool. Umbrella drinks are, yeah, they're, they're, they tend to be given out on arrival actually. Um, <laughs> Dob, what? Tell the class. Well, what number isn't? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> 20. By process of elimination, I think that would be a one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you have inhaled a carp. <laughs> and a quantity of water sufficient to keep the carp alive, but until further notice, uh, one of your lungs is writhing inside your body uh, on account of it being full of water and a living carp. The other one is working well enough. You only need one. <laughs> We've been going for two minutes and you've got carp lung. <laughs> <laughs> Something, yeah, something, carpal tunnel, something, something, family <laughs> show. <laughs> okay. I weakly regard that and continue setting up my sun lounger. <laughs> Would you like me to pour your umbrella drink into the other lung? Yes, yes please. Okay. <laughs> that's, how, that's how drinks get in the body, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I open my other lung to <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hang on, if I lean to the I right, can't when you pour it in, it'll go in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Let's have it. Get right up to my mouth. 
<laughs> are, you, are you okay in there? Well, it depends who I am. <laughs> um, do you want to? Do you want to get out? You're you're in there. You're, you're chilling in there. Well, again, am I in the stomach of? All I saw was a, a big thing. It's, 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 no, no, no. You're fine. You're you're in the lung, so you're not going to get got, got by bile and acid. Um, it just doesn't know where it is. Oh, wow. It's it's in his lung. Oh, how droll! Yeah. I've become a lungfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay here until further notice, I suppose. OK. Thanks for checking in, though. That's OK. Let me know if you need help. Do you ever think this is how adventuring would turn out, yeah. Bruden? <laughs> I always feared. Yeah. Um, I feel like we should uh, pay tribute to the wizard. You know, that would be respectful and... Do we know about the wizard? Is it famous? Yes, you do. You do know about about the wizard. You've come to this place because you're you're relatively sure that it is a place free from from troubles. And if there are any troubles, you won't be called on first in order to fix them. Yeah, that's so, us, the troubles. Yes, um, you have arrived. It is it is, it is it is two in the afternoon. Um, no, it isn't, because I said that the wizard hears you out in the morning. It is nine in the morning, yes. early for umbrella drinks, but frankly, in folks' <laughs> bounty, anything goes, baby. We're nice. on holiday. So, this... in approximately uh, t five minutes, you can go see the wizard in his chair. OK. But this wizard's got the magic... He's got a magic book. We could write things in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could write Corazon does a callback clip, and then it would happen. You could use your invisible hand thing that you do. You know that weird invisible hand thing? Yeah, you my, do. Right, yeah, yeah my invisible hand. Writing the book, Corazon has immeasurable wealth or whatever. Yes. Also, we could cure my car plan if there's time. We could yeah. cure your car plan. <laughs> yeah. oh, come on, there's no need to be coy. <laughs> oh, dear. I could use my invisible Sorry, hand to get that. Can we get him to write, Ellen, uh, Merwin didn't make that pun yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. in the book. And maybe what, we must happen. write that in the book now. <laughs> we that, yeah. All right, let's go and see this wizard. Very good. Uh, there is, um, it's, a, it's a modest sort of like, um, almost like a village green with a small raised platform, and on there, in a, in a, a quite humble-looking chair, sits a wizard. Uh, the wizard is wearing some sort of uh, wizard-like robe. It is a rich blue. Uh, the wizard has uh, a beard, as you might expect, hat. being a wizard. A hat, yes, certainly. It's a newsboy. Doesn't look like your, your normal wizard. No. Looks very down-to-earth, this wizard. It's got staff. Uh, there are people attending to him, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, but yes, he says, uh, basically a man steps forward and, and rings a handbell and says, Hear ye, hear ye! The wizard trash sack will now hear your pleas and will make adjustments in the magic book accordingly. Who is first? Uh, you see a man kind of walk up ringing a, ringing a hat uh, as if it's wet. And he says, Oh, uh, trash sack the wizard. I um, have fallen on hard times. My, uh, the doorway to my house has fallen down. And I'd like it to not have done that. Trash that says, oh, very well. Write in the book. And your door will be fixed. It, I've got a lot on this week, so it might take a while for me to get round to it, but get round to it, I shall. Uh, wisdom perception check from anyone who's feeling, um... Yep. Okay. Right. Perceptive? Nope. <laughs> ah, six for change. Twenty-two. Criti critical Twelve. one. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a one? Minus, Minus one. one. Minus one. Minus one. <laughs> Literally zero on the wizard. <laughs> this is an evil wizard. The evil <laughs> wizard is going to, is, has just had a tremendous idea to bring down every door in the entire town, killing or trapping everybody. Oh no, I must yeah. stop him. Mm. I sprint towards him. No. <laughs> oh. Cor Corazon, uh, that wasn't... Trasak's promise to fix this house wasn't very convincing. <laughs> yeah, you think that he, if he just writes it in the book and it happens, that doesn't seem like a lot of effort. Why can't he do it right now? A, a good question. Something uh, off about this trash sack, I say to myself, okay. cursing all wizards. <laughs> As Egbert thunders past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Egbert, what's the plan here? Uh, I'm going to grab his pen and throw it in the pond. <laughs> pen? All right. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, there's strength athletics, please, to rest the quill, all right. which uh, Trash Sack has been sort of imperiously waving around. All right, I'm going to roll for it. <laughs> that is uh, three <laughs> plus four, seven. OK, <laughs> you kind of you run up and limply grab Trash Sack's wrist and sort of waggle it back and forth. 
So there is a wizard now just kind of going, oh. Uh, yeah. You monster! What are you doing to these people? Now, now. You tyrant! Now, now, <laughs> young man. <laughs> I, if you just would but join the queue, I will hear your plea, and um, if, if it is deemed to be good for this place, I will write it in the book and it'll come true. I take Egbert gently by the elbow. Yes, I know, it's okay, Egbert, it's okay, come on. Come on, we'll join the queue nicely. All right. Remember what we said about joining queues nicely? Yeah, it's true. It's more important to queue than vanquish evil. Get him? Can't let your standards slip or anything. Um, wizard? Would, uh, if I may approach you, would, uh, I, I approach and genuflect before the wizard. Uh, wizard, um, we are from out of town. Uh, where we come from has many troubles. I see here, in this idyllic paradise, there are very few troubles. Yes. Could you please write in your book? There are two books, and Dob has the other. <laughs> That's good, Dob. Well... It... If it were up to me, of oh. course I would. Oh, what a relief, because it is. Mm, ah, <laughs> but then, you see, uh, there's a little thing in Folk's Bounty, we, we call it the tourist board. And they have expressly forbid me to make more books. All right. Because you could then make a book for someone, and then suddenly everyone's got a book, and there are no problems anywhere across the kingdom, which sounds great, but then we don't have a tourist trade. He's right. And that would be bad for us. That would be bad. So, don't blame me. Blame capitalism. <laughs> I'm willing to write nearly almost anything else in the book. Okay. Why don't you just write, there is also a tourist trade in the book? Yeah. Ah. Well... <laughs> Obviously, we can have two books. Right. We could all ask probing questions of the logic behind this <laughs> book if we wanted to. But we could spend, a, 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 you know, an hour and forty-five minutes. An hour and forty-five <laughs> minutes doing that if we wanted. But uh, there are other people who want things in town, and I think they should be heard. But look, I will cut you a deal. What happens if you write the book doesn't work? Does it stop working, or does because then the book would be working to stop working? You know I've never tried it. I unapproach the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you seem like nice people, and you seem... <laughs> All right. Did I say something? No, no, no. Did I? All right, you seem like... People. You seem... <laughs> I mean, mostly. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, I am aware of your presence. Is that okay? Mm, that's fine. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. um, and you seem interested in, in the book. So why don't you wait until I've finished hearing out the rest of the people of, of Folk's Bounty, and then we can have a little chat, and I can talk to you about sort of what I do, and maybe you can tell me about what you do. And this, uh, this sounds good. Let's observe him with, yeah, the, yeah, with yeah, the people yeah, 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 yeah. and see what he's up to. I observe it's, trash bag. Yeah, what's trash his grip? Trash can. What's uh, the grip here? Yeah. Trash like the wizard. I observe him and his security measures. Yeah. Okay. It's in place. It's clearly uh, some kind of grift here. We're going to figure yeah. it out. Um, Levers, maybe. Mirrors. mirrors. <laughs> he uses mirrors. Oh, I thought you said beavers. I was like, beavers <laughs> and mirrors. Yeah, okay. Um, the beavers found the levers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Prudence, uh, uh, wisdom perception check, please. Hi. Hmm. 19. Hmm. Um... As you kind of, you all post up on the sidelines um, and enjoy another umbrella drink, because like I say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. folks' bounty, anything goes, baby. Um, as you sort of sit by the sidelines, you watch Trash Sack kind of paying attention to, to the people as they ask for this and that and whatnot, and he dutifully writes things down on a scroll. For a 19, Maybe you wouldn't say dutifully, you would say reluctantly, perhaps even fearfully. Um, Non-committally, I think, would be the best way to, uh, to describe the way in which he's writing these things down. It's as if he has no intention of, of making these things uh, come true. He's lying to the people, and he sort of seems uncomfortably aware of it. Oh, interesting. So he's writing them on a scroll, not in the book. Yeah, it's writing them on a scroll to, to later. To, so is the book later. present? Can I see the book? The book is not present. Oh, so he takes it back later. Okay. 
it doesn't but, work. But like, he it must have, have worked. At, you, you think there's no? Problem? I think I think he's lost it. I think someone's nicked it. You think he's going round and repairing all the doors and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> no. oh, yeah, with that's, his that's army of beavers. Thing. Yes. Yeah, building a dam around the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. yeah, that's a good theory, though, that he's lost it. I think, yeah. OK. It's like, yeah, do it later. Well, why don't we wait until uh, everyone's left and then buy Trash Sack a drink and, you know, see if we can get Trash Sack to yeah. spill... Ask for a private get audience trash sack with the book. Tra- trash yeah. <laughs> That's hard to say. Go on, Trap. Merylwen. <laughs> Let us have it. Yeah. Merylwen's already been everyone. drinking. All right, then. Um, so, you do notice that Trash Sack's uh, sort of audience for the people is, is drawing to an end. He sort of stands and sort of looks at you in a wizardly sort of way, kind of as if at any moment he might spill soup down himself or similar. Uh, and he again invites you to approach. He says, well, my, fr- my friends, uh, my work is uh, half done for the day, but I, I can spare you some time, I think. Did you, uh, sh- shall we talk shop? Mm. So where's the book? Well, uh, Corazon! How rude to uh, talk to our new friend about... To talk, talk such business matters when none of us have had a drink. I'm parched. Tell you what, I'd like to write in the book a round of drinks, but this one's on us. Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> uh, and How uh, kind. lead him off to a tavern. Yes, yes uh, there is a tavern. Uh, it is called Winifred's. It is run by Winifred. Winifred! Hello! Winifred, a drink for our friend and the usual for me. And my friends. Have we met? <laughs> Winifred, how could you say that after all these years? Okay! <laughs> uh, she kind of... She he must have a plan. She must she have pulls a plan. A, she He's pulls going a, somewhere with this. <laughs> Let's just wait and see how it plays out. She pulls a mead for Trash Sack and then kind of like looks back and is like, ha 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 ha, with a hand over a pump, like, and a mug. <laughs> so nice to see you again. <laughs> you too, Winifred. Yeah. How's Ray? There's another one. <laughs> um, fine, I think. Great. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> And and you will get as, as, you drink. As, as you can see, Trash Sack, uh, we, are, we have quickly ingratiated ourselves with the community here and we're, we're good friends, friend, friends with everyone and you should feel like you can talk to us at your ease. Great. That's yeah. why all that happened. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, you even know about people I've never heard of in my life. You yeah. must have ingratiated yourself yeah. here quickly. You haven't met Ray. He's got a lot to say about you. <laughs> you know what? Roll me a charisma persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seven. Oh, Plus, right. does it matter? Plus five. Twelve. It does not matter. Oh, goes, Ray. Yeah, sure. Ray. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Good old yep. Ray. Yep, 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 yep. Ray. Anyway, is that the fish? <laughs> is it making its way out? <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say there's a bar of there's there's a bowl of uh, of peanuts on the table, um, and any time you want to eat one, I need you to <laughs> roll me a deck sleight of hand check. I know you want to get it past the koi because <laughs> it's. <laughs> oh, what's that, Marilyn? <laughs> Oh, that's a one. Okay, you feed an. You feed. Don't forget, he's allergic. <laughs> oh no! You feed an entire bowl of peanuts to the koi that is stuck in your lung. <laughs> your pace is now halved because you've got a swollen koi lung. <laughs> right. So until this inevitably worsens, <laughs> I lean over to Prudence and hand. I say, "Prudence, take the wheel on the plan." <laughs> Tra- trash sack, we're, we're adventurers. Great. Ah. We specialise in solving problems. Sure. For example, oh. uh. if someone were to say I've like, lost a magic book or something, <laughs> this is just a hypothetical example. Oh. Uh, but, you know, we said we specialise in sorting that kind of thing out. So um, oh. any, pro- any problems around here that you need adventurers help with? Oh. How droll. <laughs> adventurers. <laughs> I've lost the book. Yeah, we kind of, <laughs> kind of figured that might be the case. <laughs> What gave it away? Um, just your, your whole deal. Um, we have a very perceptive wood elf on the team. It was the look of abject terror, wasn't it? It was, it was that. Um, yeah. The fact that you didn't have the book. 
<laughs> was another clue? Oh, I never normally have the book. Oh, OK, fine, fine, fine. The number of times people have tried to, to seize the book from me, to be honest, when, when, yeah, when I mean, it was my this first one thought. came and grabbed my wrist like a, a wet cabbage, I thought, this, you look strong, and yet I think I could overpower you easy. Mm. But I also thought you were after the book. No, yeah. But I'm on to you, you took wizard. It. But, uh, uh, <laughs> yes, I see you. Uh, <laughs> Inspiration. Um, well, uh, therein lies the rub. Um, I don't know who took the book. Um, let's just say some somebody, little little somebody, may have uh, uh, paid a trip to to Winifred's and had one or two many meads, and they may have had a little nap in the fresh air. Face down in the alley behind the tavern. Um, so you don't take the book to the bit where people ask you to write things in the book, but you do take it to the pub. Well, yes, that's where I do the other bit. That's, that's the easiest way to get free drinks. Yeah, I get, yeah. A, I get a free drink. I get a free drink. <laughs> Trash Sack has another drink. Yeah. I don't even drunk. need to write that down to make <laughs> yeah. it true. Easy. Yeah. Trash Sack is hammered. Yeah. When, when, when did you last on. see the book? Uh, well, it... who were you drinking with? Me and the book. And the book. Well, that's, uh, did you, did you check under the tables? Uh, it's not in. Is there a lost and is found? Is there a lost here? and found at Winifred? Winifred, has anyone handed in a book? The magic one. The, the magic Winifred. one. The magic, the magic one. What is missing? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. Says Winifred. No, Winifred. The magic book but isn't missing. We're just wondering if anyone has handed it's, in it's any book. It's a books. different magic book. It's my magic book. I mislaid it earlier. Marowan's magic book. We were talking about it, Winifred. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Remember? Um, um, I'll have a look. Come on. We've got a seven part treatise on turnips. I'll take, I'll take it. it. <laughs> Done. Thanks. She, Thanks. Throws, she throws you a leather bound seven part treatise on turnips. That's hmm. going to come in handy yeah. Yeah. one day. Yeah. That and the umbrella full of bees that I still haven't used. <laughs> yeah. Two years from now, it's going to be Rude. the deepest cut. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> People are going to go wild. You'll see. <laughs> but um, look, I last, I last saw the book it sort of in my hand as uh, it and um, indeed the ground sort of hurtled towards my face a bit. And when was that? Uh, in the alley, was this? Yes, it was in the in alley, the alley. Ab around, uh, well, uh, after kicking out time, which of course I'd extended <laughs> magically with the book. Um, <laughs> so I suppose it was probably about two in the morning. So technically it was today. So it's not even been missing that long. I don't know why anyone's panicking. Please help. Okay. All right. I could pay um, you fabulously, obviously, beyond your wildest dreams. I just don't have the money now. We each but get one write in the book and one drawing in the book. OK, I, that seems fair. I, I do, like I said, I do have obligations to the town. So I will need to slightly vet your wishes I may be a buffoon, but I'm not a complete idiot. Never grant a boon when you don't know what it is. Okay. That's just how people lose their children. <laughs> wow. wow. Sure. We'll uh, Trouble interrogate that one later. <laughs> um, <laughs> any clues at all? Hmm? Any clues at all? Uh, we could go on. I have two questions, Trash Sack. Uh, go on. Question one. Yes. Which alley was it? We can go and investigate it using uh, detective yeah. skills. Ah, uh, yes, it was the alley. The alley behind the tavern. I Question throw two. open the door and I go, this alley? That, the very same. Great. Right, that was a dramatic reveal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Question two. Yes? Uh, has anything weird started happening since you lost the book? Because I figure if the book was stolen and mm. someone else is using the book for nefarious ends, maybe yes. you would have noticed, for example, a fortress appear on a hill or, or dragons fill the sky. Can or, other people write in the book or does it have to be you? Oh, no, anyone. 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 <laughs> yes. Has the whole town recently, system. for example, been, uh, like, dominated by a, a, a new <laughs> figure on the scene? Yeah. Has there ever been, like, old Joe is the coolest guy in town all of a sudden? Yeah. Well, you know, is, is, like, Ray the, the king now? <laughs> <laughs> Ray wasn't the king yesterday. Wait that a minute, Jerry is solid gold and 100 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's funny you should mention, I mean... Unless somebody has written Ray out of existence and memory, 
One of Ray's enemies got the book. <laughs> I'm I, starting to get worried about Ray. I also... <laughs> We've got to find Ray. <laughs> Dead or alive. Oh. <laughs> I also don't have my wallet or my shoes. Ah, uh, do you want us to, to do that as well? Is that well, part I'm of the quest? Like, whoever this enemy of Ray is, perhaps Maybe they, they also have... the book was the book, and they just stole just everything. a common thief. Common yes. thief. All right, All right, let's investigate this alley. I burst into the alley dramatically. I just... Uh, 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 oh. it... I don't <laughs> burst into the alley dramatically. <laughs> sort of halfway, like frozen in bullet time. <laughs> I was two legs out. So, obviously, uh, I kind of... Wanted to conclude our bargain, uh, you can ha- you can absolutely have one free write and one free drawing one each free drawing. in the book. Yeah. Um, I will have to vet them, but also I need you to help me find the book. But also, um, just to save face a little, obviously there's lots of things I said I'd do today mm. that I can't. Okay. Oh, cool. So to keep up the pretense that everything is fine and no books went a walkabout. Yes. yes. We yeah. need to fix up some doors and. Do yeah. some chores. So yeah, we need to fix the doorway. Um, little little known fact: um, uh, Jennings, the town baker, doesn't know how to bake. I just sort of deliver him bread magically via the book every evening. Okay. And uh, also, we need to find uh, our new husband for the widow dowager who lives at the end of the, the town. Well, when we bring right. Ray back alive, I think he'd be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought you said Ray was already wet. Was oh my goodness! Someone's written in the book since then. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is a dastardly shifting around the plot. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm so sorry. It seemed like you were about to burst through a door. Yes. Can I burst through the door now dramatically? Absolute, absolutely. I burst through the door dramatically. Wow. Yeah. That was dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to. Inf- this is a crime scene, everyone. So let's tape it off with some tape. Do we have any tape? Hemp and rope. Anyone? Yeah. Tape off the mm. okay. scene with, with around, around 50 foot of hemp and rope, yeah. please. Can we paint the hemp and rope black and yellow? And oh, record? 50 foot of crime rope? Crime yes. rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hemp and crime rope. It's, Absolutely. It's left over from all the Beeple stuff. <laughs> I'm going to get some unsold Beeple's merch. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a warehouse full of it. You get all the Beeple's merch out and unroll it into it long. Yeah. And then I'm going to pick up every object and sort of turn it back and forth in my hand. <laughs> While the sort of piano sting plays. You can have inspiration. (laughs) (laughs) Make me a wisdom perception check, please. Or, actually, uh, let's make this a little little investigation check. Which is intelligence. Oh, no. Uh, (laughs) Two. Two plus three plus another two. So, five plus zero. Yeah. (laughs) Come on, Merlin. Are we all investigating, aren't we? <laughs> Wait, wisdom perception, is it again? Right, or wisdom investigation? So I'm going to say, uh, also the uh, dice yeah. are having to get used to being yeah, on stage yeah. in front so of like, people ooh. again. Yeah. Did we all get, like, five? I got a seven. Ah, hey. I got hey. eleven. Oh, eleven. Yeah. Oh, eleven. Oh, 11. Double, like, double digits. <laughs> Let's add our numbers together. Yeah. And investigate as a group. I've got a question. That's allowed. I turn the item so far over it falls out of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Prudence, you can, um, you can see two distinct uh, sort of imprints on the ground. There is um, sort of a much deeper imprint of a humanoid shape, which um, you surmise is where the wizard hit the ground. And then there... We should draw something around it. Yeah. yeah. So we remember where it was. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I put some more Beeple's merch tape around in a human shape. Um, there is a second impression where the wizard was rolled over and clearly somebody went through the wizard's pockets. Okay. Um, the rest of you are frankly lucky to have noticed the alley. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, this is where the wizard was rolled over and someone was rifling in the wizard's pockets. Yes, I see. Um, it's a very important clue. Dob, where's yes. your fiance, Katie? The Queen of Thieves. Oh yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's Katie. She's useful right now. She's getting some uh, R and R back at the um, spa, <laughs> by which I mean the um, ornamental fountain. <laughs> <laughs> she, she can kind of sense when a wacky adventure is going to happen, and she normally ducks out. At that <laughs> right, right, uh, right. Can I? I'm going to message her. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about time. <laughs> Hi. Hey, I'm sorry for not checking in. Dob, 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 dob. Hang on, sorry. Dob, dob. Ask her if she stole the book. If she stole the book. Oh. If she's seen the book. Hey, Katie. Hi. 
Yeah. Um, did you, uh, you done any stealing since we got here? Um, babe, I'm the thief queen. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, what, did, what, did, what did you steal? Would, would, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> yeah. I stole a bag of, of, of pistachio nuts and I'm not even shelling them as I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let me hear that crunch. How's your day going, babe? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's cool. I just can't miss you. Uh, I, yeah. Sorry, th- everyone's, everyone's here and they can hear you. Uh-huh. Stop! <laughs> yeah. I, I stole some, some pistachio nuts, Dub. Is there so, anything right, else so you, you want did, to did you, uh, Sorry, uh, Corazon's making that face. Did you steal a book? He, want, he wants to know if you stole a book. Did you steal a book? Oh, the, the, the wizard's book from Fox Bounty? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No. Oh, um, all right. Um, I'll tell you what. Could you maybe like put some feelers out in the community and maybe see if you can identify it, uh, maybe the thief who did, or at least find out where the thieves gather in this uh, godforsaken yeah. town? Yeah, sure. Um, are we doing this like um, Dob and friends, like softly, softly, nicely, nicely, or, or can I go like full on pearl head with this? No, no, you, you do you, you do you. you. I mean, look, what am I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to... I'm, I'm so proud that you have your own thing going off. And you're killing it. Well, well maybe it's probably, <laughs> but... Um... <laughs> okay, gotta go. See you later, babe! Okay, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> No, you stop messaging first. No, she didn't. No, you, you stop messaging first. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you. <laughs> you said you would hang up. <laughs> I hung up, Darby. You messaged me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must have butt messaged you. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't take the book. But she's going to try and find out who did using her contacts and general skills. I, I, I can do that. I've got, I can read thieves' signs. I know. It's not a competition. I love you both. I, I, <laughs> I look for all the thieves signs. <laughs> oh boy. It's like we're triangulating. She's the other side of town. We're over here. Yeah. Pincer hmm. movement. I use uh, my un- uncanny detective ability to look for signs of the, where the thief went and his movements. Maybe or a their movements. perception check. And because it's so thief related, you can have advantage. Also, I feel like you need it. <laughs> That's 15. Oh. And that is 23. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, you are, a lot of Thieves' Camp messages do spring up. Um, a lot of them are, are quite. Numbers, numbers, numbers. <laughs> a lot of them are quite listless. I'm like, oh. Like. You think this would be a good place for thievery? Well, one of them is just what's the point in thieving if. Uh, of course. You don't. Thief alive. If you, if like, it's, what's basically there's a long screed. Normally, thieves count messages like sort of hidden in the world are quite, you know, short. Like, steal it here or yeah, money go, money, <laughs> money is this way. This is a long message about how frustrating it is to steal anything when somebody can just go tell the wizard and have it replaced. Basically, there there are thieves here and they seem to be fabulously well off. Yeah, but also just like listless. A bit boring, isn't it? Yeah. 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 All right. So it's, it's not to say that there isn't a, um, uh, you know, I mean, stealing the book it strikes you might actually be quite a good motive because then you can plunge the world back into a, a sense of disarray um, and stop the wizard from fixing absolutely that's, everything. Well, let's, I mean, let's get this magic book. It sounds great. Um, before we go looking for it, though, we need to sort out this fixing the doorway, yeah. mm-hmm. um, baking bread, mm-hmm. and one of us needs to marry the dowager. <laughs> I propose Egbert. I also propose Egbert. Okay. Whatever, whatever works for the team. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's the spirit, down. Egbert. Okay. All right, Egbert, you go make sweet love to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Not until the wedding night. Yeah. Aww. I mean, pitch woo to her. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I shotgun baking. I'll do the baking. You do some baking? Yeah. Well, when you're good at fixing doors, right? Oh, yeah. you know who's great at fixing doors is 60 skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it seems like overkill for this job, 60 skeletons. 
If it's a stone door, then Merylwen's all over it. If it's a yeah. wooden door, we'll improvise. Let's go yeah. and find the broken door. So do you, want, do you want to do these chores first, and then we'll find the book? Is that how we want to do it? All right, cool. Let's just get all this done. Just warm up with the easy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, to, you know when you make a to-do list and you put on some really easy ones? Yeah. Like yeah. Make list. Make to-do yeah. list. Done. Organise a done. wedding for two, like two weeks or so. So it's time or something. Yeah. yeah. That seems like a longer one than maybe fixing a door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so all right let's go and fix this door then. Modding, but right. I can walk you through it. Okay. Where's, the, where's the door that we need to fix? Ah, um, so you need to go back into the tavern. We just look for a broken door. And I walk past every house and look at the doors. <laughs> Two hours later, <laughs> you find the right door. <laughs> Dob, Dob is absolutely enervated with having just run around a surprisingly large... Also, you got one functioning lung, so... Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, no it, take, no, it takes you four hours. <laughs> when I get there, is Merylwen already there fixing the door? <laughs> yes, why not? That... <laughs> Um, yes, there is a door. It, indeed, it seems like the whole jam just kind of like the beam rotted and the whole thing just crump just came right. down. So there's a lot of rubble to clear, there's a whole jam to put back up. I mean, like, it's easy if you just write it in a magic book, but um, yeah. indeed, the, the, uh, the, the person who, who alerted uh, Trash Sack the Wizard to this, this broken door is kind of standing there looking oddly perplexed. It's like, in me. We're magic door people that yeah. book summoned us. The book's real. <laughs> <laughs> to mix it up, the wizard wrote a yeah. bunch of randos <laughs> to go fix the door yeah. instead of the door is fixed. Yeah. 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 So we're, we're here, here to door. fix the door. To, to, to reuse we're servants of joke. the book. <laughs> to reuse an old joke, uh, I'm a wood elf. So. Oh, my stars! What a fun and in innovative way for the wizard to do his business! Yep, that's right. And it would be a low, low rate for yeah. you, yeah. sir. We like your face. The gold pieces that you... What? <laughs> no, the... What? No, no, not gonna... All right, sorry, yes. Yeah, so what I, what I mean is, uh, here's the door fixing. It's starting now. Merylwen, do a stone shape on it. I don't actually have a stone shape oh. on right now because oh. I can switch out my oh. spells. You don't have it no. on. Well, the what the spells make you have? Will to do <laughs> what door-making spells do you yeah, have? You no. Did you not think you were going to be fixing doors in this adventure? Yeah. yeah. No. Um, I cast a minor illusion to make it look like the door has been fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Um, is, remind me, is there a, a, a spell that somebody has to make to kind of see through it, or is, does it just bloody work? Um, <laughs> if a creature uses his action to examine the sounds or image, the creature can determine that it's an illusion with a successful intelligence investigation check against your spell save DC. Uh, I would like to distract the homeowner. Uh, with some chat, uh, yeah, I'm just doing a little local canvassing. Um, mm. When was the last time you saw Ray? Um, <laughs> Ray. 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 You don't know anybody called Ray. Oh my God! Oh. How convenient! You're going in my list of suspects, book, my friend. The suspects for what? <laughs> <laughs> that you tell me. Ray killer. <laughs> Man with house, I write in there. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say these are some amazing rolls I'm having a sneeze? I rolled that at disadvantage, I rolled a six and a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> well, this door seems to have been fixed up real nice. Yeah, yeah. If there's one thing Welcome. you can say about this door is that it's real. And we really it. gotta go to a bakery yeah. because the so, wizard also wrote all the chores today to be done by five randos. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I shall wave you off and then I shall return to my home, which I dearly love, by way of my door, which is now once again <laughs> usable for access to the oh. aforementioned said home. Why not take a nice I big live? lean on that door as we leave? <laughs> <laughs> I All right. might just do that. <laughs> All right, we can hurry away. Why don't we open the door for this fellow and then we politely open the door to allow him to return yeah. into his abode. Yeah, that's, yes. That's Wait, yeah, but yeah, we could just pick him up and place him yeah. in his house. <laughs> <laughs> and it will, then it will be a door. A functioning the door. Yeah. Of a functioning door. Yeah. 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 How are you going to put him in his house? Yeah. Yes. 
Pat, no, how? Oh, I lift him up and put him in. It's part like of you might a small the child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a rubble filled over the, door. Over the rubble, right? No? Oh, there is, is, OK, I mean, there's a gap at the top. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll You're going to have him to through. huck him. Yeah. I'll post him through. <laughs> this is all part of the service, sir. We'll just huck you through your working door. Yeah. OK. It's, it's a magic door, and uh, you, you, can, you can travel through it once, and that kind of sets it in place. That's how you confirm the location. So yeah. I, I shove him through the illusion. Calibration process. Oh, that sounds very secure, he says, being turned sideways. Uh -huh. I assume. Mm. Yeah. Uh, strength Athletics, please, to throw a man through a small oh, aperture <laughs> we his ruined door. door. Easily done. Uh, that's 13. Breathe, breathe in. I, I breathe in halfway. He is concussed. Oh. Oh. Well, then he won't oh, notice yeah. as I push him through the <laughs> <laughs> Very much he does not. Yeah. He goes, oh! All right. All right. I tripped on the stoop. Done. You've broken yeah, it. that'll happen. Well, see you later. <laughs> yeah. uh, tell your friends about the book. Fix forever. Let's go to the bakers. Yeah, yeah. all right. Let's, let's go. the same level of energy yeah. and stick to it in this to, to the next task. I cast Minor Illusion to make some bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes, after effectively entombing a man in his own home, you're going to cast Minor Illusion to bake some bread. Uh, <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm... Don't, that wait, wait, like I was criticizing you. He's got, like, you. summon bread. Yeah, someone must have a summon, summon bread, bread spell. spell. One of you wizards. Come on, bread shape. <laughs> oh, that's bread. Like, I, I already do loaf in cat form. Why don't we actually bake some bread? That'd I've got nice. major illusion. That has a, a, an odor associated. How about we just like make bread? Oh, I was fully willing like to actually fix the door. <laughs> we just dumped him through. No, no, why no. Why are we competitively baking bread in a kind of bake off, as you might? So, mm. and, then we'll have some, and then we'll see who's best at baking. Five different kinds of bread. Yeah. Well, All right. I mean, okay. with this challenge set out before me, I furiously start baking. Yeah. Okay. Gonna, harder than I've ever nance, tried at anything. Gonna, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast Flame Blade. <laughs> sure. <laughs> just be like a terrifying sword of fire. <laughs> just making some nice. Oh, nice even crumb. Even mm. flip. Mm. You know we started tracking spell slots, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. I'm just. I just Perfect. wanted to make sure we're all on the same page. I assume the bakery has the equipment to bake bread. Yeah, yes, to keep, up, to keep up the illusion, they have, they have a fully functioning oven and they have flour and stuff. They, just, they sort up, of up, don't up. know what to do with it. Yes, right. You walk in, they're in a flop sweat because then, then the profession terrifies them. Basically, right. they're, just, they're like, I, I'm a fraud. I'll need. And then someone else. What's, another, what's the next baking thing after kneading? Proving. proving. Who's going to do the proving? Prove it in Egbert's mouth. Pro prudence okay. and <laughs> Prudence over here. She can prove it. Prudence. I, I don't know what proving is. I don't, I don't know how you to You just put it in a drawer or something. I've seen Bake Off. Yeah, a hot drawer. That's what your mouth drawer. basically is. Yeah. Put in, I mean, you're giving off a kind of ambient heat over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between the two of us, we'll... Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to need. need Egbert's going to prove. Yeah. Prudence is going to ice. Mix the ingredients, mix the ingredients first, the ingredients I'm hearing from the master first. baker in the crowd. Yeah. So I will mix the mix ingredients, the ingredients and then we'll place well, it under one. on, we need to identify the ingredients first. We've got flour, <laughs> we've got yeast and salt. Yep. A few drops of lemon zest. Yeah. <laughs> vanilla extract. No, that's cake. You make a cake. squeeze of vanilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, yeah, no, that's Mix fine. all this up and then get it in one of Egbert's folds. <laughs> Oh, good God. The big one. I, I cast Wild Shape and I turn into a chicken and I lay some eggs. There's no eggs in bread. Very eggs in good. Bread. Eggs in Not bread. an ingredient in bread, but it's canon now. <laughs> I'm going to go for brioche. Eggy bread. <laughs> yeah, we're there yet. Yeah. Get an egg wash on it before it goes in egg, but... <laughs> it's not how eggy bread works. <laughs> OK. Uh, Why that's is bread fine. so hard? Oh, French toast. Right. With all these things in front of me, I smash my fists down and it hurt. <laughs> yep. Just a chicken walking around with a flame blade. OK, strength athletics, please. Um, uh, f from, from you, please, Dob. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, you, you, you've smashed that up into a pulp real good. Uh, so we've got eggs, vanilla, lemon zest flour, at no point did you say water. So we're going to stick that into <laughs> Egbert now. OK. Um, Egbert, Egg roll, what the, I mean, what is, what would we even call this skill check? Uh, Egbert has natural moisture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a, I, that what is the best noise? <laughs> 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 Everyone oh, just an entire crowd. No. What is the natural oh. humidity of a dragonborn, I wonder? Um, <laughs> let's just, um, 
Yeah. Yep. 88 oh, degrees. Thank you very much. Can um, we set Egbert to 88 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit? There's a yeah. dial on the back of my head if you just like to twist we'll that. We'll try it yeah. Celsius. Yeah. Don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we get the bowl and like spit in yeah. it. Egbert. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> there we go. It's activating. I'm just yeah. rising. Yeah. I'm just going to give you that. Uh, yeah, you did say yeast. All right. Yeah, that's that's rising. All right. And then. Great. That's proving you actually <laughs> you actually going to bake it. Where, are we going to bake it? Does he do both? <laughs> do you turn the dial up, yeah. All right, up to <laughs> for baking, anyone? Yeah. Just move I it to it a like different a hawk part of the... To yeah. pull it out of Egbert's mouth at the exact right moment. <laughs> OK, yeah. wisdom... Uh, no, wisdom perception? Yes, to notice when it's the right time. One! Again? No! <laughs> no! What's how wrong with your dice? How does this affect my lungs? <laughs> do you want to use my dice? <laughs> you pull it out approximately... 45 minutes later than you should have done. <laughs> so it's a little overdone. Yeah. Uh, when examining it to see if it is, in fact, perfectly baked, um, the co- I'm going to say the koi in your lung eats like a third of it. <laughs> yeah. Like a little alien xenomorph mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, here's a charred briquette with a hole punched in it. All right, let's get it. <laughs> yes! Let's get this baby on the shelves. <laughs> What would you charge for this? Ten gold pieces? <laughs> Twenty. I Twenty, think. I think. Well, there's only one of them. Yeah. You know, supply and demand. True, supply and demand. The Beautiful. terrified baker standing in the corner, just in a, in a soft whisper, says, "Please leave. <laughs> you are welcome." <laughs> All right, now Egbert. Yes. Pitch woo to the dowager <laughs> with. The same level of care that we've done all the other. <laughs> all right, sounds good. <laughs> Chores. We just cross these off. Done. <laughs> so what? Remind me of the. Remind me of the third thing, gang. We've what got to find you? a husband for the widow dowager who lives down the street here. Yeah. Right. Okay. She is already. You, as you so, start to approach her uh, her house, she is already on the porch with a jug of lemonade, waiting expectantly for her husband, who she presumes will like lemonade. Well, of course, because she asked the book. Her magic husband. husband. This yeah. will not yeah. be unexpected. You, you I drink are all of the lemonade <laughs> in one go. <laughs> the man of the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> uh, oh, she says. <laughs> As you, you tan like two gallons of lemonade. She's made a lot of lemonade. That is a 12. Do I add anything to a constitution? Yeah, I do. Two. Yeah, you add your con- 14. Come on. All right, okay. You're a little gassy, but you're otherwise fine. What's new? Uh, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> she says, oh, you must be my husband. Yes. Hot stuff coming through. It, yes. You know, it occurs to me beyond the fondness for lemonade, I didn't specify. Anything else, but you know what? Maybe we can make this work. I'm What's very handsome yeah. for my species. <laughs> you gotta read the small print. <laughs> yes. You've gotta be real specific with the wizard yeah. lady. Top. Get some romantic music going. Just to oh, set the mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Trash Sack is a benevolent wizard. I suppose he, w- he wouldn't deliberately make me a bad second husband. I cast oh. dancing lights to create a romantic mood. <laughs> You should marry Egbert. That's not <laughs> Is that? He's not that bad. Is that the beating of my heart? It might be mine. Yeah, yeah. mine beats at twice the speed of a normal human. So. Whoa! Yeah, I'm 14 minutes. I'm only going to live like about 10 years. But. Oh. <laughs> well, like a bit like a bird. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, make me. Make a wisdom perception check, please, like, but to see if, just to double check that it isn't the, the alarmingly fast beating of your heart. Uh, it's an eight minus one. <laughs> you think you're having a heart attack. <laughs> Is this what love oh, no. feels like? <laughs> it's I'm, crushing pain. <laughs> oh, no, deja vu. Um, uh, hey, uh, handsome, are you single? <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Yeah, no. do you want to be the first? He is! Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Cracking! Let me, I just, I do CPR on Egbert. I thought you were going to say you start doing push ups in the street. <laughs> I started doing push ups to impress the dowager. Okay. I'm doing push up, one handed push ups, and doing CPR with the other hand. Nice. <laughs> okay. Mer- Merylwen, you're licensed to marry folk, aren't you? That's something that they teach in the woods, I imagine? <laughs> Well, I can do a druidic ceremony. Yeah, 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 yeah that's what I mean. That's it, that's, yeah. Quick, before Egbert actually dies, <laughs> make it nice and <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Quick, say the words. 
do, do, you, do you want to get married? Yep. Do you, cool. Do you want to get married? Y- yes. Cool. Done. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's brisk. <laughs> Somehow that was <laughs> less ceremony. romantic than my first marriage. <laughs> <laughs> but, wow. Um, it's beautiful. Young love. I love it. <laughs> also, I'm still a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this chicken is saying, but somehow I feel like it, it is of near cosmic importance to me. The chicken, the chicken looks at you as if to say, "You can kiss now." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Um, the widow dowager gives a, a, a kiss on the cheek. It is, it is chaste and Very it is chaste sweet. and nice. Oh, um, it through. Can, you can give them a peck. <laughs> <laughs> Does the widow dowager die? <laughs> no. Hey, we have really that part of the bargain. Now, I, I, I did actually prepare a second jug of lemonade. She starts pouring lemonade for everybody. Well, there's some lemonade. Toast the happy couple with this lemonade, and then we really must get on. You do notice something um, slightly strange about, about the lemonade. <gasps> oh, um, oh, in the, the surface of it seems to be moving a little. Kind of, sort of, it's funny. It's still for a bit, and then there's sort of like these weird circles that kind of go in and out. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tyrannosaurus. Almost like there's a Tyrannosaurus yeah. Rex yeah. approaching. <laughs> Prudence That's is this magic lemonade. Books, to be fair. Can you detect oh, no, it? I detect some magic on the lemonade, but okay. I think it's not that. I think it's, um, it's a sound, right? It's uh, coming from all around us. Oh, okay. The, the lemonade is not magical. It's not magical. But you do detect that there is some sort of rumbling. And is that magical? Uh, I detect magic on it, but only for a range of like, what is it, like 20 feet or something? 30 feet. 30 feet. Okay, well, this, no, this thing is, is further away uh, than that, but. Um, uh, in, a, in a greatly, uh, dramatically reduced moment, a Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> <laughs> swings round the corner. Whoa! Um, <laughs> Dang! And, uh, uh, and uh, locks eyes with all of you and, and roars uproariously. Um, this is brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> all right, someone has definitely been at the book. It's... Yeah, a smart person. <laughs> I lay an or a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, You're its nearest relative, Meryl. I know. I was like, oh, granddad. <laughs> Well, you're his nearest relative, and it is certainly getting nearer, because I would like everyone to roll for it. <laughs> Yay! Fighting a T-Rex, finally. <laughs> you guys roll. Oh. Oh. 18. 18. 9. 13. 7. 17. Is that 18 for Dob? Dob? Sure. Oh, sorry, I said 18. 18, 18. You were thinking about T Rex. I was thinking about T Rex. (laughs) (laughs) This is what you train for how to fight a T Rex. Uh, Dob, you're up first. There is a T Rex coming uh, towards you. You notice this T Rex is slightly strange. Um, It is slightly. it moves curiously, um, and its outline is not kind of the all-powerful, um, like, terrific thunder lizard that you kind of expected from seeing it. I don't know if Dob has seen a T-Rex before, but um, it looks slightly strange, slightly amateurish. Oh, uh, all right. Well, I'm going to test the accuracy of this T-Rex, um, because latest study suggests that deep within their skull there was a kind of sonorous sound making thing that was very 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 sensitive organ uh, oh that wouldn't like uh, the magic spell shatter fired into it <laughs> <laughs> oh thank god I thought you were just going to stay still and hope it didn't see you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is completely unrealistic that is not a thing All right. I don't do that I okay. duck and weave and cast shatter <laughs> you're going to cast shatter yeah. uh, it's a uh, saving throw isn't it on b- part of the T-Rex uh, uh, yes mm-hmm. it is you know, recent studies on T-Rexes have said they don't like being shattered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Let's said, see. It's the sensitive latest sonorous thing. Uh, right, well, guess who hasn't updated his actual spell sheet since, <laughs> since he got shatter? But I'm pretty sure it's like 5 d of damage halved if they make a saving... Shatter. What's your saving throw. Oh, what's your spell safety DC? Uh, 16. Uh, 
Uh, no. That is a 13 from the Tyrannosaurus Rex, so it's going to take a full whack of damage. All right, who's counting? Seven plus four plus. You've got this, right, everyone? <laughs> Eight plus one plus seven. 27. 27. Gosh, Good job, you're everyone. Good. And what's what's 136 minus 27? Oh, <laughs> 109. Thank you. Yeah, discordant uh, feedbacky noise aimed directly at the the sensitive sound producing organ in the in the in the head mm -hmm. in the skull. It kind of rears back a bit and sort of tries to claw ineffectually at its chin. Yeah, good luck got... reaching your chin when you. <laughs> Wow. I'm going to give it five points of psychic damage just <laughs> for that burn. Um, yeah, the Tyrannosaurus kind of reels back. It's like, oh, I'm going to do it. Actually, that is the noise it's making. It's going to roar, 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 roar. That's not right. It was actually a very unexciting, low <laughs> honking noise. <laughs> Meryl, <laughs> Meryl, Meryl, when just roll a d20 because uh, you're tied with the T-Rex. That is a six. Oh, well, that's an eight. Uh, the T-Rex leans forward uh, and opens its its dinosaur mouth and verbatim says, "Raw, I'm going to eat you all up." Aww. And then it's going to try and eat you. Oh, sick. <laughs> I now edge that, towards its mouth. That's not accurate, is it, dog? <laughs> that's not accurate, this, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. What is, what is it, Johnny? It's, it's a one. Yay! Yeah. 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 The Tyrannosaurus Rex falls over itself, lands in the dirt, and with that sort of high-pitched keening that precedes a really good cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I rush to its side. There, there. <laughs> uh, Meryl, it's your turn now. Okay, I turn back into an elf, spit out some feathers, and I would like to cast on the T Rex dispel magic. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just so pretend that didn't happen. Dispel magic, huh? Yeah. Let's talk about dispel magic, shall we? So choose one creature, object, or magic. Sounds sound self explanatory range. to me, Johnny. Um, yeah. <laughs> any level of third, uh, any spell of third level or lower on the target ends automatically. Mm -hmm. But for each spell of level fourth, uh, fourth level higher on the target, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Mm -hmm. On a successful check, spell ends. Okay. <laughs> Roll it, I guess. I mean... <laughs> that is a six. So the spell's level is third? Third. Third level spell. So DC of 13. Sorry? Oh, you just said it's seven. Plus one. How you doing, Plus one. Don't be So you've biffed it. I've biffed it. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> there was a biffing. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> the T-Rex makes no notice. Yeah. It's just because nothing happened. They're like, Aah! So at least the T-Rex isn't the only one having an absolute mare in this combat. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey there. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at your cards and saw disguise self and thought, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh god, it wasn't a prompt. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, I mean, this is clearly not some kind of real T-Rex, right? What's going on with this T-Rex? Well, it's, it's, it's a bad T-Rex. Someone's written... Someone who doesn't know about T-Rexes has drawn a T-Rex in the book. Has drawn a T-Rex in the book. Maybe yeah. a child did it. Yeah. I mean, how easy, how, how hard is it to write an accurate T-Rex attacks? Yeah. <laughs> a fully accurate T-Rex. Although an accurate T-Rex would do a lot less damage. Yeah. It would probably wait for us to die and then scavenge us. <laughs> According to the most recent research. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'll just, I guess I'll stab it in the head or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
Yeah, all right, yeah, go on then. Oh. Yeah. AC 13, <laughs> go on. Stab it in the head or whatever. That's, a, seven, that's, a, that's a 17. <laughs> yeah, you've, I mean, yeah, stab you hit it. Stab it in the head. If numbers have right to be Right in the believed. sonorous cavity. Yeah, yeah, right, let's just... Uh... <laughs> Can you be bothered to make this a, a surprise attack or...? I mean, I, yeah, everything, <laughs> everything just, like, is. Or you're just sauntering up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just sort over and... Swinging just... your sword. Oh, I hate to see it. Uh, OK, let me just... <laughs> God. Six. Mm-hmm. Nine, Nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19 points of damage. Oh. Uh, then I remain perfectly still. I'm going to allow this because Jurassic Park was a better movie than The Lost World. I know why they did it in Jurassic Park 3. Anyway, um, okay, right, fine. Um, there was 19 points of damage. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Uh, prudence. Oh, and I say prepare to get T wrecked. <laughs> Prepare to get ir- ir- What did you say? <laughs> T-Rex. 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 Yeah. T-Rex. My mistake. For everyone. <laughs> <laughs> for the bat. Well, that's actually a six. I was trying, I was trying to do a funny and be like, that's one point of psychic. <laughs> yeah, oh. I aced that. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, prudence. All right. Noticing that we're just doing really pretty much chip damage to this dreadful, terrible lizard, I banish it to uh, another plane. Oh, existence. hell yeah. <laughs> For one minute, in which we will make a getaway. Yeah. And then it's the widow's problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. All right. Uh, so the target must succeed on a charisma saving throw. Um, oh, quick, what does the latest research say about what's distasteful to T-Rex? Because the magical item that I require is What would be distasteful to a, a T-Rex? T-Rex. Uh, well, I imagine a room full of people telling it it's cold-blooded. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Or Jurassic Park three. But yeah, Jurassic, the yeah, Jurassic Park. Three. Yeah. The um. Yeah. Having to do an undignified fight with a Spinosaurus would. I imagine. So I just need a, a Blu-ray copy of, yeah. of that movie. Yeah. Or, okay. you, I think I've got one. It doesn't need to be a Blu-ray. You get a DVD. It's cheaper. Yeah. In fact, that would be worse for the T-Rex if it was like 480p or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're getting a Blu-ray. Real AV um, snobs T-Rexes. <laughs> the latest research. The latest says. research yeah. suggests that they were real AV snobs. Okay. So I say, quick job, give me something distasteful to a T-Rex so I can banish it to another plane of existence. A, a smug Spinosaurus. Do you have any of these things? Oh, something that you... Oh, I, I need t- to I tossed Prudence so... a VHS copy of Jurassic Park 3 The Lost I World. I tossed the VHS copy of Jurassic Park The Lost World. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that that's where you were sending it. No! I mean, if you wanted no. a Blu-ray, all you had to do was cast Moonbeam. Uh, hey. All right. Well, I've got the VHS copy now, yeah, perfect. somehow, yeah. and it is the magical item I require to uh, concentrate and send one creature within range to another plane of existence where they are banished, and if they're not native to that demiplane, they will be back in one minute. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, so it's a charisma saving throw, yeah. Great, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Rex looks incredibly affronted that you have this item without having, having laid any groundwork for VHS's <laughs> existing no. in Gath. Oh, it's a very hardy scroll. Yeah, very hardy scroll. Okay. Yeah, if so if uh, it would make oh. you feel better, I get dog to bellow, um, you're cold blooded at the T Rex. Oh, um, it, uh, here tasteful. is a berry. Uh, it, it, as a carnivore, I guess it's yeah, 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 not yeah, keen. Okay. Ugh, berries. <laughs> <laughs> not for me, thanks. The T Rex imagine, says, I imagine. Okay. okay, so that's a four minus one is three. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I'm going to let's safely assume that the Tyrannosaurus Rex has been banished to it another works. plane of existence. Yes. With sort a pop. Of, it just for a full it's minute. Gone. All right, cheese it, everyone. <laughs> All right. Oh, you've got 60 you going, seconds. My, my love. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it turns out I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Bye. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Also, sorry, you may want to move house in the next <laughs> one minute. <Yeah>. Shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, yeah, well, you've done that. <laughs> right, let's find this bloody book. I can't believe this took so long to... We think the book is in the hands of an amateurish dinosaur enthusiast. Yeah. Yeah. Or a child. Or, or a both. child. Same. Well, just because you're a child, there's no excuse for not doing the reading. <laughs> so let's get this child. Yeah. All right, uh, we kill every child. <laughs> My specialty. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> so yeah, you, re- no. you regroup breathlessly round the corner. Um, 
<laughs> we hear a distant pop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happened yet. Um, yeah, what do? Are you, uh, um, I think we need to find out, uh, like, oh. where the kids are in this is a kid? town. I oh. this. What direction did the T-Rex come from? Where's the youth group? Where's the youth club? <laughs> Wait, I, can I check in with Katie? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Um, just checking in. How did you get on with the old thieves intel gathering? Uh, well, I'm just beating up the town crier right now, babe, but nice. he's, uh, he's staying stum. He's not giving me anything. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. Well, um, okay. All right. Okay, that's fine. Did you, uh, did you beat up any or rob any children? Uh, no. Did you want me to? Uh, not necessarily, but like, did you come at, do you, where do children congregate, what do the kids do in these days? Is it skateboards? Did you see any skateboards? Is there a skate park? Is there a skate town? park? Did you see, <laughs> did you see, are you feeling okay? <laughs> Have you been taking the supplements I gave you? Because you know you should be taking those like once every eight hours? Yeah, I'm taking them every eight hours, like you said, and it's not making me feel that much better, weirdly. In fact, if anything... Really? If anything, every day I feel a little something slipping away. <laughs> oh, no, that's probably just like... No, that's, that's fine. Your body will adjust. Just keep, just keep taking right. them, babe. I rifle through is... Dob's bag to find the pills. The only way out is through. Is Can that, you that's hear that. this, though? Can you hear me? I just heard him say, yeah, those pills. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Yep, yeah. all right. Um... Let me, a, let me a little stealth check, please. To see okay. if you can do this without dog noticing. Twelve. Hmm. Yes. yes. What do I roll? You <laughs> roll a <laughs> wisdom insight. Okay. Unbelievable. Oh, no, or wisdom perception, right? Oh. <laughs> That's a two. <laughs> you, uh, you find... Get right in there, I don't care. You find the pills. They are chewable. Um, mm. And they are... Uh... Ah, oh, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> they are uh, they're chewable, they give off a faint smoke. Uh, they're of a horrible writhing dark green. <laughs> and Dob is just is hawked, hawking them down. <laughs> the ones I have, I'm like, oh yeah, no, I need to try these. Dob, there is now a dead koi in your life. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> It whiffed its charisma, uh, charisma save, uh, its constitution saving, sorry. Um, okay. um, so, so to conclude, no progress. <laughs> no, <laughs> no progress in the case. Uh, no, I just, uh, I, I think I saw, like, um, there was just like a tree that kids were huddling around and throwing rocks at. Is that the kind of thing you're talking about? Yes, I think, I think that's a TikTok. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> the TikTok Don't. clock. Wait, no. Babe, I said tree. <laughs> tree. Have you been taking your vitamins? <laughs> <laughs> These vitamins are something else. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, I'll right. hang up before I say anything else. <laughs> I think you're getting <laughs> confused with Vine. Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. You hear a distant Meryl. boom as the tree that Meryl, Meryl and Doug were talking about <laughs> somehow just dies and falls over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and people are rushing, are rushing to take little chips of it off to save it. For right. memories later. Yeah. We'll, we'll cut this out of the YouTube version. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say to Katie. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, the, we need to look for a tree. Kids are gathering. The kids the are gathering, and yeah. well, we can't just approach the kids. The kids. They, won't they won't tell us anything. They, we we need. Uh, I don't know. Disguises. Some way to relate to the kids. What are the kids like? If only we went disguised as maybe their favourite musicians. That you know the kids are into rock oh, music. We talked about this plan. <laughs> yeah. We said nothing is off the table except this plan. <gasps> yeah. I think I'm already pulling on the outfit. Okay, right. Who here wants to relive their youth and be the kid that goes and talks to them? Because I've got a spell that maybe. No, I think I'm going to dress up as the Beatles, actually. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. What is this? Yeah, please continue. <laughs> Dob and I will just will be. I don't know how to continue. What? <laughs> the, the trick is commitment. You get <laughs> this, uh, this one on. You hear a distant pop and a shout of "Rah! I'm back from the horrible place." Oh, quick job! <laughs> it was nasty. Quick job. Get your wings on. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna. Go. I'll help you. I'm gonna eat you. I think it's um, fine, isn't it? I think I got it. Yeah, you basically got it. That's basically fine. Don't put my put my wings on. Okay. Hey, 
Hey, kids. Oh, my God. Oh my okay, God. good. Oh, my God. Maybe I can convince the T-Rex to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Oh, wait. We were, ju we were just talking about okay. this. All right. We'll approach the kids as their favourite band, The Beeples. OK. And they'll want to help us because we're their idols. I have so. never, never in all my time <laughs> been more nervous about an upcoming dice roll. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Marilyn? You... Are they leg warmers? They're going spare. <laughs> I'll have one, yeah. Oh, sorry. I got it. This is worse than bad chair day, yes. Well, I don't see how. <laughs> you, you approach, there is, a, there is a tree where some children are now, there is a dead, fallen over tree. The children are now sat on the trunk, looking at you expectantly and confusedly, as yeah. if to say, I don't know what's happening anymore. I thought I had control of the situation, <laughs> and now I'm deeply worried for my own personal safety. All right, I, I walk up and, and hey, we kids. walk up and throw in my voice, I say, Hey, is that Paul McCartney? The famous oh, hey Porter kids, it's me, Paul McCartney. <laughs> and, and I'm Paul Hun Honey and Lemon, was it? John, John Honey and John Lemon. Honey, Honey, yes. yeah. John Honey and Why Lemon. Why would you know? <laughs> <laughs> We're just in town performing a gig, I say, and we thought we'd come and, and rap with you. <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know now, kids, there will be no actual rap. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Anyone hey. done anything cool lately? We were, we were just trying to think of a subject for our new hit song. Yeah. We thought something about a magic book. Yeah, and maybe where you would hide that book. Make me a charisma performance. <laughs> <laughs> we can roll with advantage, though, because we're dressed as the Beeples. <laughs> I can't reasonably say no, and you... 19! <laughs> Oh, that's not with the modifier, I figured. We got it. <laughs> Mr. Charisma right here. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's my favourite band, The Beatles! Yes. Yes. I know, and enjoy! But yeah. please, keep it down. We don't want a big fuss. Yeah. Don't want everyone to know, we're just, you know, here in town performing a gig. <laughs> <laughs> Our tour bus broke down because it was full of bees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. What was it you wanted again? Uh, we wanted uh, you to we wanted you to help us write our new song about places to hide a magic book. Yeah. Okay, that sounds great. Oh, oh, oh I've got some uh, magic uh, book. Uh, 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 do you do you know do you know? Uh, I want to hold your bees. Yes, <laughs> that's a good one. Bees. I want to hold your bees. I wanna hold your bees. 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 I wanna hold, hold your bees. bees. Oh, I've <laughs> I... got a book that I want to hide. I don't know this bit. I thought oh. all of your songs well, were less than thirty seconds for legal reasons. <laughs> yeah, but no, we're gonna we're gonna write the new part, which is where you come in, okay. and I oh. will take this book. Cause the wizard's drunk. Because my the name's Sprat. Yeah, and I love hiding. With my magic book. Yeah. And I put that book somewhere. And that somewhere was, take it. I don't know, I'm not Sprat. Oh. Where, where is Sprat? We don't know, Sprat's good at hiding. Got it. Well, that makes sense annoyingly. Yes. <laughs> where did you last see, sorry, I, uh, I adjust my tone. Where did you last see Sprat? Well, we last saw Sprat wearing some massive shoes and going on a spending spree in town, buying sweets and stuff and cackling about uh, a plan he had later that was going to be totally rawsome. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like our Sprat. That's our uh -huh. Sprat, all right. And um, he said he had a new favourite hiding place because Sprat loves to be underground. <laughs> But not in a dead way. <laughs> he was oddly specific about that point. 
Okay, well, that's, wow, that's, kids, that's you've been really helpful. I say. Thanks so much. We'll be sure to put you on our yeah. new yeah. record. I want to hold your hand. Brackets because it's full of bees. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hold your hand. My lawyer will be in touch to negotiate royalties. Hold your hand. Bees. Full of bees. Full of bees. Yeah. Yeah. End of song. Okay. All right. I think we've got everything useful cool. we can out of this situation. Yeah. Really? And, but you, you put in so much work. What <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm imagining is the giggly chat you two had before. <laughs> I, I didn't make out a single one of those words, but I enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> I move backwards from the crowd of kids, yeah. Yeah. and I say to everyone else, uh, we need to be underground. And I start... Okay, tumbling. our infiltration mission worked. We got the information we need. Sprat is underground. Sprat took the book. He's hiding underground. Also, we're playing a killer show tonight. Yeah. The people's coming to your town. Yeah. Get in on it. Is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> um, I look for a like sewer hole cover to see if I can like go down and have a look around. Partly to look for the book and partly because I want to get away from it. <laughs> yes, I think that is entirely fair. Uh, make me an intelligence investigation check to scour the nearby area for some sort of manhole cover. A, d- a dirty 20. Well, it's a, it's a dirty, dirty hole it's in the ground. very dirty. You've basically found a wooden cover to what seems like some sort of latrine network. Mm-hmm. Oh, lovely. Thanks okay. for the sewer level. Oh, here we yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that's sewer famous level. people's song. <laughs> dubba, dubba, dubba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go, I go in there. You found it, Marilyn. Uh, see you guys later. What Will a you treat. come join? Prudence? You do hear the sound of um, a, uh, a, a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex sort of scouring the town. Killing a dowager. Rah! (laughs) I'm back, and I've eaten one dowager, and I don't know if there are any more dowagers in town, because I'm a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and frankly, I don't know much about the way human society is organised, but I'm still hungry! (sighs) I go in the sewer. (laughs) Okay. You are now in the sewer. Good. Just How is it, Merylwen? How is it down there? It's nice. There's no people. Okay. Yeah. I Bring... follow Merylwen. <laughs> I, a member of the Beeples, enter the sewer. No. <laughs> okay. You get stuck on the way in because your wings. <laughs> the T-Rex approaches. <laughs> <laughs> Inexorably. Oh, oh my gosh! Just like the fortune teller said. <laughs> Screw it, why not? The Tyrannosaurus Rex approaches you and says, Wow, you look like my favourite band, The Beeple. <laughs> Play me a song or I'll eat you. Uh, OK. okay. Uh, h- how, about a, how about a few lines from Eleanor Rigby? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Eleanor Rigby lived in a hive because she was a bee. <laughs> Woo did he wee <laughs> Rah, that song sounds great. <laughs> My master Sprat, I mean, I... Uh, oh, I'm completely undone by this. Can I escape into the sewer while he's being impressed by Eleanor Rigby? <laughs> yes, come on. Okay. It's, uh, that's such a catchy song. I want to go sing it to my friends. Bye. Bye. And he r- yeah. runs off in a, Ooh, in a general direction. Right. That was a close call in our cool and serious adventure. Let's continue it. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, to, 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 <laughs> I mean, I've always preferred the music of T-Rex, so... <laughs> I test the acoustics in the sewer. <laughs> yes, <Thank> you. <laughs> All right, test the acoustics in the sewer. Um, I want to right. hold your hand. The deception fully complete. Uh, I remove the Beeple's costume. Oh, so God. soon. <laughs> <laughs> Never to return. Mm. Um, I really think it's going to be more work to remove it. So I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Carry on. I'll okay. be doing it. Yeah. In no, the, you're fine. You're fine. Doing um, it in the background. Yeah. Could, um, could you just make me a wisdom perception, please, Dob, to uh, test the acoustics? Yeah, uh, in okay, the that's, sewer. A six, uh, that's a um, 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 17. All right. Um, there's a weird echo in here. Oh. You sort of, you, you hear your own sort of... Uh, 
Witches, witches, full of bees, 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 bees. I want to oh. hold your hands. You seem to hear from one of the other tunnels. Follow the sound. <laughs> um, it's, it's sort of a twisted, turny, uh, you know, trip through a sewer, and needless to say, you are now a bee covered in sewage, but um, you, you come to sort of a place, it's a dead end in a tunnel, but you swear you can hear the echo of your own song coming from the other side of it. Oh. An illusory wall, perhaps. <gasps> Run at its full pelt. <laughs> I, 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 do, I do as the man said. <laughs> Okay. Um, the good news is you are almost certain that there is someone on the other side of this wall. Okay. The bad news is it's not illusory, and you find this out by hearing them go, Oh! What was that? Oh. Um, Does, is there other good news, and the impact dislodges the fish corpse from his lung? And it just mushes it in. <laughs> it pushes it in deep. They like half pop out and then we have to pull out the rest. Mm. <laughs> Based on the audience reaction, yes. 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 Oh. <laughs> uh, make me a. You've seen Pingu eat a fish. <laughs> yeah, make me a dex sleight of hands check. You dirty do. 20. You pull out a, a perfect, very stinky fishy a 20. Perfect <laughs> dirty fish. I never want to hear those words again in my life. <laughs> uh, you pull out a, a, a fish skeleton, yes. Uh, from Dob's lung. It was in your lung. <laughs> I think you should see a doctor after this. Mm. Okay. I know a good he's, already, he's already <laughs> seen Katie. Uh, all right, okay, well, this is a real wall. It's not illusory, but I'm pretty sure the Sprat, yes. book-stealing Sprat, yes. is on the other side. So, uh, Merylwen, how about you turn this wall into a new wall? We have established. <laughs> Any time now, Mara, when I'm ready when yep, you are. Here we go. Here I, comes... I run full pelt at the wall in anticipation of it <laughs> evaporating as Mara when casts yeah. shape. <laughs> you know, druids get a bad rap, but... Uh... But when they really come through with it... Yeah, when, when they come shape, through for you in that, with those clutch first, spells, we? that's yeah. when, you know... You Roll me a d12, Dob. D12? There isn't a d12. <laughs> Seven. Points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. <laughs> um, yes, the, the wall stands. Can we do a breach and clear? I've got a bomb. Well, let's have a look at the wall first, maybe. No, I'm already sticking the bomb to the wall. Hey, no. Just see if... No, it's happening. I've lit mm. the fuse. Mm. Step back, everyone. <laughs> but we're in, a, we're in an underground tunnel with it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll blow everything out. All the more reason to stand back. As yeah. he said, the fuse is lit. I stand yeah. back. Mm -hmm. And all the more reason to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> is that for all of us? Yes. yes. Yeah. I mean, are you in the tunnel? <laughs> uh, Just try and roll through the newly opened hole before the roof caves in. Oh, this is to avoid being blown up and covered in sewage. Right. Oh. Can I add anything to my roll because in sewage? I have extra armour? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's that is a dirty fair. 20. Ooh. Mm. Yes. One! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Almost as if <laughs> Egbert had planned the whole operation. Egbert sticks the bomb to the wall and just casually sort of rolls out the way, shield up. Yeah. Bricks flying everywhere. How did everyone else do? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. And... It's fine, I'm just going to really stick it to Dob. So, uh, <laughs> you don't quite get the memo on striking a cool pose, but Corazon's kind of standing with his back to Egbert, being like, I'm not even looking. Um, I'm too busy noodling on the loot. I'm going to figure out something for the B-side. Uh, how did you do? Uh, oh. um, I got 14. OK, uh, you, you do get the memo about the cool pose. Prudence, you're, kind of, you're just not striking the coolest pose you could like be. Like cowering behind Egbert's shield. Yeah, there we go. Um, Dob, you are flung backwards um, and you land deep, deep into a trench of filth, <laughs> and you are covered in it, and it is, in, it is on your costume, and in the hairs of your costume, and up your nose. And, um... you're saying, are you saying the costume's ruined? <laughs> it's ruined forever. I'm saying that, but Dob is a law unto himself. Right, um, okay. Roll okay. a d... Ten. Ten? That's yeah. high Come numbers. Come on. 
Johnny. Come on, Dob, if you're ever going to roll high. All right, here we go. Save that costume. One! Oh, no! <laughs> it's good this time! Okay. Someone give him another dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, point of, of being blown across the room damage. All right. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah, no, it was, yeah. That was the good outcome. You had a soft, soft landing. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, soft landing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yes, you've blown <laughs> open... this large thorax. Uh, oh, oh. And the child is... Inside. <laughs> in a <laughs> sort of a little pocket... It seems like a little pocket cellar, surrounded by bags of sweets and, a, like, a hammock and um, a cuddly toy and some crayons. And it's sort of been like, hey, what are you... All right. Sprat, is it? Sprat, is it, I see. I'm um, Sprat, who wants to know? Don't, never you mind. Sprat, we've heard all about you. What do you mean? Your thieving ways. Yeah. I didn't steal nothing. What about all of this? All of these stolen yeah, goods? Yeah, what about these sweets? Where do they come from? Uh, they're mine. I made them. You made sweets? Explain to me the process of making sweets, then, in yeah, detail. because we cannot bake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need the help. Well, do you know about fixing doors as well? I'm Never mind, I conjured them. I'm a, I'm a powerful wizard in training. Eldritch Blast in prudence. <laughs> <laughs> a cat. Anyway, who are you lot? We are... Um, the... We're the servants of the book. Yep, we we're the servants. We the book. <laughs> book inspectors. <laughs> <laughs> we're, just here, we're just here to check that you know how to use the book. Yeah. Yep. We understand you're the new master of the book and we've come to administer the trials to yeah. check yeah. that you are... Worthy of the book. The book trials, as if we could get them underway. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll everyone put on their safety goggles. <laughs> there are aren't trials. You're just holding your hands up to your eyes. Damn, Damn he's going to get real smart. smart. He's sharp, this one. <laughs> I bet you're the same people who, who got rid of my lovely dinosaur for a bit. Not that I'm saying I did a lovely dinosaur. No, it's him already. There's only one boy in this town with a lovely dinosaur. You. Just incriminated yourself, Sprat. Yeah. yeah. While this is all going on, can I just walk over and pick up the book? <laughs> <laughs> you can't. See, did I say you can see the book? No. No. Okay. You can't see Bye. the book right now, Egbert. Okay. okay. Pan. 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 Sorry. Sorry. The screen is there. <laughs> the screen is there. That's my privilege. The dice is there. <laughs> He sort of starts to move his hand over to, um, like, reach under the pillow of his, his hammock, which is, for some reason, very low slung. <laughs> I slide towards it. I see. I follow his eyes, follow his hand. I dive towards it before he can. OK. Uh, dex acrobatics, please. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Did we all get really bad at rolling dice? Yes. Uh, Eleven. Mm, dirty 20. Dang. Oh, no. Oh. Man, this kid is... We've yeah. met our match. <laughs> we finally... <laughs> I think we should Sprat. become servants of him. <laughs> I brush myself to Sprat. Sprat straightens up and feverishly writes in, um, uh -oh. in the book, reading out loud to himself as he goes, because he's a child. Uh, it's like, Sprat didn't say that, and they can't do the anti-T-Rex spell no more. <clears throat> um, it could have been a lot worse. <sighs> you... You basically flash back to 12 seconds ago when Sprat uh, hadn't definitely said he has the book. <laughs> but we still know he's got the book. He just yeah, doesn't know that he, we know he, he doesn't feel embarrassed anymore. <laughs> okay, fine. Aww. He's a child with, with childish and simple motives. Sprat. Right. Um, Probably quite easy to kill. Have you, uh... <laughs> His armor class is low. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's an option. Sprat, do you know about the uh, cheat codes for the book? The what? Cheat codes? What book? Oh, sorry. We thought you were in possession of the book of unimaginable power. Sorry. No. Uh, we'll go find the kid who is and tell them about the awesome cheat codes. Makes it even more powerful. Yeah. Sorry to have wasted your time. I turn and walk away. We'll give it to the more deserving child who has the book. Yeah. Well, why can't, uh, why can't you tell me? I don't have the book, but you know, there's no harm in me knowing, is there? Because then I can't use a super secret cheat code. There's no harm in you knowing. There's no benefit well, it's, in you knowing either, Sprat. It's, it's not really. You can't like know them. It's a thing you plug yeah, into the top of the book, and it change. Yeah, it changes the code in the book. This it's, is big boy. Is it dusty? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Yeah. Right. Sprat didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
if, hypothetically, I said I had the book, yeah. Yeah. would you tell me the codes yeah. and not take the book? Yeah, we're not here to take the book. <laughs> the very idea. All, all we, we need to do is see the book so we can show you how to key in the codes. Yeah. Yeah. Will you tell me the codes and I'll key them in? Infinite, oh, infinite ammo is one of them. What Le level select? Yeah. Got the nude, yeah. the nude code. <laughs> 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 That's one. I don't know what any of these things are, but I have an instinctual sense that one of them is a notion I shan't entertain. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one second. If you he turns around and mutters, "The pirate didn't say that." <laughs> <laughs> You do that for the people's bit as well. <laughs> God, I wish. I wish. Uh, yeah, no, we said, no, like, we don't want the book. Right. It me, no one wants the book. Yeah, yeah because of what it does to you after one yeah. week's of usage. What? Yeah. 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 Oh, the yeah. wasting. Yeah, the wasting. The wasting, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they the call wizard. it the wasting, yeah. 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 The wizard, he was a kid just like you. He's 14 yeah. years yeah. old. Yeah. 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 We give, we give them the sheet code so that they can enjoy their time with the book, but mm, it's not Once long. Once you got it. Most of them say, we shouldn't be telling you this because it might bum you out, but most of them say they would rather have their youth over the... Yeah, yeah and also uh, his butt fell off. His butt, <laughs> yeah, his, his butt fell off and everyone saw and they pointed at his butt. Right off. Yeah. And he tried, to pick, he tried to, to pick his butt up and it did a fart. Yeah, and then he wrote in the book, my butt didn't fall off, uh, and, and his butt didn't fall off, but he knew. Yeah, everyone knew about it. Anyway, anyway um, so I've these got cheat codes. <gasps> oh, Don't Sprat. take my butt off! <laughs> well, there's only one gonna, way to save your butt now. Take your butt Sprat. off. Sprat. <laughs> <laughs> the rules are clear. Yeah. 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 Um, well, uh, that's great that you've got the book. Uh, all right, hand it over to my uh, pirate associate. Um, <laughs> that sounds like I'm not going to get it back. All right. Pirates take stuff. Yeah, they do. They well, don't borrow stuff. Enjoy your intact butt while it lasts. Yes. That's all I can say. How it falls off and everyone laughs. I could, you, could you could give it to, to the nice lady with the trustworthy horns. Trustworthy warlock. Trustworthy prudence, as they call her. Ignore that sort of purple aura of evil coming off her. That's, <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> it seems like a purple aura of evil, though. Hmm, oh, okay, who's a... Right, what about, about the approachable yeah, wood elf? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I like... Um, there's, there's a small, there's like some fungus in the corner, and I'm like, Shh. and then the, there's like, it goes very pretty. There's like pretty flowers. No, make it gross and stinky. What about, what about your favourite singer? <laughs> no. oh, I'll give it over! I'll give it over! I'll give it over! I just want to write one more thing in the book. Just one. Okay. My butt won't fall off, probably, I promise. All right. All right, okay. what's the one more thing you want to write? You'll see. Okay. I don't, I don't like where this is going, but okay. What if it's really sweet, like... I don't know. I, I keep an eye on what he's writing <laughs> very closely. Cats and dogs can get married. <laughs> he, gets, he gets a crayon, he's not holding it like a pen, he is <laughs> clenching it in his fist. Aww. And he starts feverishly drawing. Oh. oh. Okay. Mm. What, what's, your, what's your drawing? What did you... I can't believe you let me do that! Oh, uh, Sprout, I thought you were going to write, like, I want my sister back alive or something really... Something cute sweet. and, like, like heartwarming. Is what you did cute? No. no. I um, open it. Can I have a look? Yeah. Can I have a peek? A childish... It's basically a childish crayon drawing of uh, an ankylosaurus. Oh. It's terrible. One of its legs is so much shorter than the other. <laughs> um, oh, I'll be hopping mad. Or is it an ankylosaurus? <laughs> so thanks for coming in, Rob. Sequential <laughs> golf claps, I can't believe it. It smashes <laughs> through the wall and he rears up on it and goes, No one's having my book! Jokes on you, I don't even like my butt! <laughs> it's rap, it's, it's you should like to love ankyl. yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's about riding the ankylosaurus. Yeah. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could it fit? How big is this sewer? It smashed through the wall. Okay, it was but the chamber, like how high and I guess is it like in the you turned into a, a, a chicken earlier yeah. and in a bakery, held a, a wedding, <laughs> suspend disbelief. 
<laughs> it smashes through from the very real cave that was next door. Okay. Quick, is he, Merwin, is he holding your, the book? Cast your stone melding spell and seal it in. <laughs> 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 He is holding it the other side of your face, Brad. Here comes the spell. He's holding right, the book. Merwin, He's holding now. the book. All right, fine. Deploy the spell now. Fine, Quick, fine. The Ankylosaurus is about to hit me now. So do it now. I cast Polymorph and turn Dob into a bee. <laughs> I am going to allow this. <laughs> All right. Who has the stats on a bee? <laughs> <laughs> What's the armor class on a bee? <laughs> Who's got the book? I'll look it up while everything else happens. If, 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 you, don't, if you don't want to do it, you have to do a wisdom saving throw, but oh, I'm sure you're fine. <laughs> Merowyn, no, I no. will never resist one of your spells. <laughs> it's not a monster manual, so bee's not going to be in it. Oh. <laughs> There'll be something close to a bee. A giant wasp. wasp. Yeah. Okay, I've got, I've got a giant wasp here. So right, AC cool. is 12. All right. All right. Okay. Just in case anyone wants to smash off. I don't know why I shared that with you. What's anyway, its, what's its HP? Uh, uh, 13. <laughs> Honey percentage. <laughs> <laughs> Honey percentage. Okay, roll for initiative. I'm going to try and kill you now. <laughs> it's no I've less than we deserve, yeah. More in my life. 14. 14. 14. Six plus the dex modifier on the. Oh, yeah. dang. I got an ampersand on the officially licensed dice, yeah. so that's a 20, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Quick, 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 I got a 15. 15. Um, I also got 15. Okay. Sprat is on top of the, uh, the Ankylosaurus. We're not but trying to kill Sprat. To, in, a, in, <laughs> in a very real sense, he is a child. I'm not saying that to stop you blasting him off the back of a dinosaur. I'm just saying that he's not, not actually a wizard. He has a book, um, but that's about it. I can see behind your eyes you're asking me not to murder a child on stage. <laughs> oh, no, I'd, no, explicitly not. No, obviously um, I banished Sprat to another dimension for oh my God. <laughs> Is it his bedroom? Yeah. Is it the naughty <laughs> step? <laughs> the, yeah. the bedroom dimension. <laughs> yeah. The ultimate naughty step. Okay, spell. so uh, this is, is this a con saving throw? Charisma <laughs> saving throw. Charisma, sorry. He wrote in the book, he can. Oh, he did write No More Banishment. Yeah. Yes, of oh, course. You can't do Clever Sprat. It's our most powerful Clever little Damn Sprat. Damn audience oh, following oh, the plot. <laughs> Sprat's always, Thank you. Sprat's always forgot two about steps that. ahead. Damn. Yeah. He smirks at you as if no, to really say, to I know what spell you want to do. No, Sprat! Kill me! <laughs> <laughs> For the benefit okay. of those right. of you watching on YouTube, an I audience can... member just shouted, kill him. Yeah. I, I feel we like we paid for blood! <laughs> an energy in the room that we're all going to regret later. <laughs> <laughs> Said he of the orphanage. Uh, <laughs> I regretted it later. <laughs> well, I mean, all that leaves is hunger of Hadar. And I mean, come on. I mean, see, I can't... That's, children shouldn't see that. No. No, it's really horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Also, if we, if we, scar him psychologically. If we banish Sprat, then we've just got, like, a loose Ankylosaurus. It's not going to yeah, be less... Yeah, and we can wail on it without hurting Sprat. I feel but like we can't do that. I feel like Sprat is not the main issue. We have to get the book. Yes, then... where's the book right now? And then, you know, it's in Sprat's undo. arms. Oh, right. Okay. Where's the book? It's in Sprat's arms. Uh, I see. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Okay, all right. Say. I cast Hunger of Hadar. I created <laughs> a horrible space between the stars filled with milky tentacles and soft whispers from beyond the veil and slurping noises that can be heard up to 30 feet away. This is definitely going to come up in therapy like 20 <laughs> years down the line. You realize that? <laughs> This kid is going to be traumatised. The child. Sprat making it 20 years is the dream scenario at this <laughs> yeah. point. It's yeah. a 20 foot radius sphere, so it somewhat encompasses the di large dinosaur. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And yep. Sprat, who is in another way banished to a different, more horrible dimension. Does it encompass us? I mean, no. you've read all this bit about cold and acid damage. I can read you <laughs> okay, if you would fine, like to know about fine, the cold fine, and acid damage. Fine, fine. Wait, what is his health? <laughs> what, is his <laughs> what is the dex on an ankylosaurus? Plus zero. Wait, wait, how, according to recent research, how big is an ankylosaurus? They're oh, big. Gigantic. Yeah, like, they're imagine a, like a, 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 t a tank. Yeah, yeah. Like well, a, would you say it. it's, uh, you know, a 20 foot radius? Or according to recent research, how much acid, acid can you put on a child? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, okay, Hunger of Hadar, right? According it's to a, the, latest re the recommended amount is none. 
It's a 20-foot radius sphere of, of terrible darkness from between the stars, yep, yep. with milky tentacles and acid damage. Got it, got it, got it. But I cast it on the Ankylosaurus. Okay. okay. Beneath Sprat. Okay. Mm. All, right. all right, fine. You could cast it on just its head, maybe. That would, you know, fly me. Uh, all right. So, oh, wow. Uh, that's a nat 20 from the Ankylosaurus. Oh, no. I'm really sorry. Oh, no. I mean, it's still, is it still taking... Would damage? you like to know? 2d6 cold damage. There we go. Okay, I've actually got a for okay. the Ankylosaurus. The good news is, uh, for the Ankylosaurus, is it's not taking the damage now, but if it starts its turn in, in the, uh, the void, it's going to take damage automatically. Yep, yep, so. yep, yep, yep. And it's slowed down, I believe. And right? it's, yeah, and it's already had its go, so that is guaranteed. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, wait, hang on a minute. You went first. Uh, so it is starting its turn. Any creature that starts its turn in the area takes 2d6. Roll 2d6, cold damage. cold damage, please. Yeah, and then any creature that ends its End turn in the area turn. must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 acid damage. It's the cold acid combo How that you that love. This, this okay, that's a five. It seems, I mean, seems low. That's worth good, it. though. It that's kind good. of. No, it's, it's good. It, it kind of goes. <laughs> as if it's catching something. <laughs> it didn't, like sniff. Yeah. Okay. How we act, is that accurate? Dub. It didn't inhale Dob, did it? <laughs> no. OK. <laughs> it's in a gateway to the dark between the stars, a region infested with unknown horrors, and it takes five cold damage. <laughs> it is a bit chilly there, it's to be fair. Chilly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's chilly, yeah. The is are really cool. The Ankylosaurus is going to try and hit you with its tail now. <laughs> I, can, I can, yeah, that's fair. What's your, uh, what's your AC? What a great question, Johnny. Uh, 15. Okay, uh, so it, it has hit, but mm. I'm sure you're about to do some roguey nonsense. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. <laughs> yes, probably. Uh, can I borrow 3d6, please? I yeah. only have yep. one. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Thank you. It's 4d6, that's 11, uh, 15, 18, 19, 20. Okay. That's 22 points of damage, Corazon. Dang. All right, I will uh, uncanny dodge that then. I can see it, right? Yeah. OK, cool. Uh, I will half the attack's damage against myself. Thanks. Okay. Yep. That's 11 points of damage, Corazon. Oh, <laughs> you all like right. drink with that? Yikes. How's that da, da, feel, Corazon? It feels fine. <laughs> Egbert and Merrill, then. You're both on a 15. Who do what? I can go first if you want. Yeah, go on, Egbert. Um, Egbert's looked oh something my... up. Egbert's got the book? Who <laughs> gave him the book? I would like to oh, use no. the spell command on Sprat. Yep. And the word I'm going to use is be behave. <laughs> Young man, behave. Said exactly like that. <laughs> see, wisdom saving Strong. throw. Yep. Wisdom saving throw. What's your spell save DC? Uh, I will look that up. <laughs> Just give me a second. It is. Uh, it's on the second page, top right. Second page, you say. Okay. Is it higher? Did you then bring your character sheet? I did. It's he just on the phone. On the actually, phone. I think I've got Egbert's character sheet. Yeah, yeah you probably do, actually. <laughs> yeah. um, It'll be higher than six. It's higher than six, right? Yes, yes I would have thought so. Okay. <laughs> Are you mad? Oh, sure, yes. I'm <laughs> Sounds right. So. Hold on, hold on. I've got it. Well I've got it. It is... No, I don't have it. <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> Uh, for the second time in a day, the uh, air of Folk's Bounty is uh, rent by a high keening sound. It goes, yes, well, you do well to cry, young man. Hand over that book right now. OK, can I keep the Ankylosaurus? No? no? Yes. I mean, no. Only good boys get to keep, <laughs> only good boys get to keep the Ankylosaurus. Oh, come on, I've been a good boy. No. 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 You have not. Hand over the book right now. Fine. Feels like we're out of combat initiative now. <laughs> what a, it's an odd thing to say, I say. <laughs> it was whispered to me from the dark between the stars, oh, which was yeah. mean. <laughs> My ankylosaurus has got a cold now. I open the book and I write Sprat's butt falls off. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say anything, but he looks at you, and he knows, and you know, mm -hmm. and he knows that you know. All right. 
You want me to write that back on, Sonny? No, All right. I write. I write. <laughs> Sprat's butt goes back on. <laughs> yeah. Now let that be a lesson to you, young man, about using magic books for evil. I write. I write. Corazon gets a million doubloons. <laughs> Magic is not fun or exciting or to be used recklessly, I say, hovering around as a bee. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out like... <laughs> <laughs> and then I settle on Meryl Wynn's nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What the bee said. Yeah. 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 All, right, all right, you can keep all these sweets, though. Thanks. Oh. Just don't do what you did again. Yeah, it won't. It was just teaching you a lesson. Okay. <laughs> All right. It just... It, I, know I know I'm only a child, but it seems... It seems like you're telling me to do something and then doing that thing yourself out of some sort of selfish interest? Yes. We're grown-ups. <laughs> you're learning a lot today. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I only took it because the wizard was drunk and I thought, the wizard's drunk, I can take what I want. That's not right though, is it? Mm -hmm. That's naughty. Fine. Is the wizard, what's the wizard's deal? Is he, do people like him in town? Is he good? Does yeah. he use the book well? Yeah, it's boring here. He just does things that are sensible and good for the town. I think we should march Sprat up to the wizard and have him apologize. Oh, come on! No, the lesson's got to go home. I think Sprat has a point. I think that we should... <laughs> no, I think... <laughs> out of point. I think... We I think, should not argue in front of Sprat. We should... Yeah. yeah. Try and we need yeah. to provide a united front in yes. front of Sprat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we turn our backs to Sprat <laughs> and have an argument. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the, the people of the town should have a raffle if every month, and the person who wins gets one weird wish in the book. Yeah. <laughs> for fun. Yeah, as long as it's not, like, too dangerous. Yeah. It smash, be... smash cut to Yes, it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, huge and golden, fires lasers from his eyes. <laughs> Ray's animated corpse strikes. <laughs> well. Should we get this book back to the wizard, or what? I mean, I mean this is a book of unimaginable power. Yeah, why are we keeping the book? We could, we could do anything with this yeah, book. Yeah, but it's a bit cheaty, isn't it? <laughs> it should be in the wizard's safe hands. Probably, yeah, John, Johnny looks like he should probably be in the wizard's safe hands. Some kind of, like, feeling that I'm getting. Mm, it's probably like, your moral compass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's one thing we learned today. I didn't today. know I had that in our kit. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the one thing we learned today, Dog? Oh, I, th I didn't have an end for that sentence. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big if. If oh. there's one thing we learned today, I see, I but there see. might not be. <laughs> is there one thing we've learned today? Is there one well, there's definitely today? a bee. <laughs> uh, all right, let's take the book back, I guess. All right, all right. fine. fine. Um, fine. I'm going to stop the polymorph spell on Dob. All right. Unless you want to stay as a bee for a bit. Do I get off your nose first? Yes, yeah. 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 please. Fair enough. All right. Turn. We still get to write one thing in the book. Though. And, and draw. one drawing. And one drawing. Cool. Yeah, what are we all going to write and draw? Can you write that there's a ladder out of the sewer? Because I don't want to go through the sewer. Yeah. I was yeah. in a nice little pocket cave, and then you smashed it. Uh, I write, there is a solid gold elevator encrusted with jewels <laughs> leading to the pavement. Um, um, we know another magical way out of the set sewer, Merylwyn. <laughs> <laughs> cast a spell. I write, Merylwyn can cast stone shape. Oh, I cast stone shape. Yeah! yeah. Thank you. Um, Sprat has already decided to take the lift, and as he goes up, he goes, This is gauche! <laughs> <laughs> and he re emerges in, in the town square. Sounds um, like someone wants their butt written off. <laughs> no, <it's nice. laughs> um, Sprat meets you above ground, whether you're taking the, the tasteful, apparently, elevator or um, going through the magical stone-shaped <laughs> portal. Um, I'd rather take the elevator, but I, but I feel bad, so I'm going through the stone-shaped. It's like okay. we can walk through and then we can go back and take the elevator, just go... Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, here's what you could have won. Um, you reconvene in the town square, where uh, Trash Sack the Wizard is kind of sat, pretending everything is normal, but it's kind of just going... <laughs> this book, <laughs> I say. Oh, sorry. This book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yes. Got, yeah, we got the oh, book. my book. Ah, oh, yes, we took it out for cleaning, like you said. Yes. Uh, trash sack, and here it is, clean. <laughs> Everyone, as you can see. It has right. being it, it returned. It smells a little bit, but that's because the cleaning products we use. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excrement. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my fault for not asking what you'd use, I suppose. And now, uh, where was it? Where did it go? Oh, it was, uh, it, it, was we've, uh, it was in the, the sewer, that's why it smells like that. So, Disgusting. Yeah, All you right. must have dropped it down there when you were drunk. Yep. Probably. Wow. Oh, God. Did I do this? Yeah, that was all you. Oh, I owe that yeah. little Sprat child an apology. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Wait, hang on, wow. you suspected Sprat? Huh? Because that could have been useful information. No, no I just apparently I, I made his butt fall off. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I reattached it, it, but I do not remember this. Hey, don't be hard on yourself. You oh. put it back on. It's all right. Okay. Don't drink and scribe. Yeah. All right. Um, Good. It's fine. It's, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Well, I promised you all... Oh boy, I promised you all one thing in the book <laughs> yeah. and one weird drawing. So yes. I guess, uh, I'll tell you what, um... I'll, I'll get the scroll out and I'll start making notes. No, of this. no, 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 no. It's oh, going right, right in the book. It's in the book, is it? All yep. right. Um, who should we start with? I dread to ask. Drew, roll. See who goes in what order. No, I, I, I really feel like this operation shouldn't take any more than four minutes. So we'll just <laughs> okay. go. Um, you're all lined up neatly around me. Why don't we start on the far end there? <laughs> All right, uh, can you write that the, the widow dowager is back alive and her husband's back alive, please? Aww. Aww. I feel bad about everything. Although, I, I mean, did. she could have written her husband's back alive and All didn't. Right. Uh, so, well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, she wanted, just yeah. wanted to get. All right, the man of her dreams is alive. And if that's her ex husband, her old husband, then fine. And Beautiful. If not, then it's someone new and better. Well, hang on, book. no, is the widow dowager dead? Yeah, 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 she got eaten by a, a badly drawn Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, God. The, Oh, as I far as you know, you drew yeah, when you no, were drunk. Yeah, that's yep. right. The widow. Tell you what, I'll fix the widow dowager for free, but the, the, the husband's yours. The widow dowager is alive, and her husband. Man of dreams. Man of dreams. Man of dreams. Yeah. Man of dreams is back. Is it? No. Is exists now. I'm yeah. a terrible wizard. <laughs> um, you You've hear... been drinking again. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just wanted to check. Um, what else was I supposed to do? And for a drawing, a uh, big delicious burrito, please. All right. Thank you. A big delicious burrito. Um, one, uh, he's not very good at scale, an eight foot burrito. <laughs> Boom! Just pops oh in front of you. Is that you. all? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry work, this adventure. He makes a note to change the scale. Okay. Like, it doubles in size. Uh, you there with the with the horns. I'll get another umbrella cocktail. You can write that down for me. Okay, an umbrella cocktail. Very thirsty. Yeah, and umbrella. how do you feel about drawing like Cthulhu returning to Earth, rising out of the ocean, bringing about the end of days, opening his moor? <laughs> Make sure you get the detail on the moor. Mm. Yeah. Um, my heart it. says no. Yes. My brain also says no. no. <laughs> but it always happens. Would you like? Uh, is there anything else? Maybe just a squid comes out or something. Just yeah. another burrito. A large squid. Would you like that? Squ would, uh, do you a big squid? Squid burrito. A squid yeah. burrito. All right. <laughs> now is the bur is the squid forming? The I'll let the book work it out. Um, <laughs> another enormous, colossal burrito lands. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll have as, mu as much money as you feel comfortable giving me. Whatever the maximum amount is that the book can give you. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently here I already promised you a million doubloons. Uh, yeah, but I get another one, so another million. Thanks. Another million? Well, whatever, yeah, whatever it does. And for the drawing, I've already prepared. Uh, this is a drawing of a rockin' Beeple's concert, and everyone in town is having a great time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just rock. The town is rocking. Everyone's dancing, singing along to the songs. So if you, I mean, you could just put that in the book <laughs> yourself. Suddenly, a cacophony strikes up from the other side <laughs> of uh, of the town. It's the support act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rolling wasps. Next, <laughs> he yells. <laughs> what would you like to write in the book? Oh, well, I'd like to write um, that someday soon I'll make another little animal friend on my adventures. Aww. Aww. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the drawing? You can have a million doubloons. <laughs> the drawing? 
drawing, I draw a really cool bow that I remember seeing, but it like yeah. fell down and I didn't get it. All right, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll draw a really cool bow. Um, we'll work out what that does later. <laughs> <laughs> cool, and, uh, and you there. Uh, all right, I would like you to write the words dream wedding. <gasps> OK, is this a dowager thing, or? Uh, no, it's for uh, my fiance and I. As to the details, I'll let the book figure it out. OK, dream wedding. Just to be clear. <laughs> oh, you don't want to dream of a wedding. Just to be clear, I'll yeah. let the book work it out. Uh, the finger is curled <laughs> on the monkey's paw. Well yep, all right. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll, we'll work that out as well. Um, and uh, for the drawing? Uh, for the drawing, um, an 80 tier wedding cake. I'm really hungry. 80 tier wedding burrito. Yeah. 80 tier wedding burrito? 80 tier wedding burrito. 80 tier wedding burrito. 80 -tier wedding burrito. All right. And, to be um, delivered on the day, I don't want yeah. to go bad otherwise. To be delivered on the day, yeah. absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for, um, for, for doing all that. Um, I, I suggest we get out of the way, because um, if I, my ears are not mistaken, 200 doubloons are about to drop on this very area from the sky. It's going to be horrifyingly oh dangerous. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> really <laughs> heavy. It's, it's raining gold umbrella. now. I take shelter <laughs> inside my burrito. <laughs> <laughs> OK, yeah. Um, have you heard the ballad, <laughs> Yon Empire Striketh Back? Yes. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, you I thought yourself... they tasted good on the outside. <laughs> you tuck yourself into a burrito. Uh, everyone else basically runs for cover. Uh, the entire town is, is covered in gold. There's a lot of, a lot of incidental damage that the wizard is going to have to sort out. But that can keep for another time. Yay! Oh. Very good. Hey. Thank you, everybody, for coming to this uh, EGX Sox venture. Hopefully, we'll see some of you tomorrow. If not, I hope you have a great weekend. Um, should, can we take a photo with everyone? Yes. Yeah, let's yes. do that. OK. Shall I take my big head off? No. Okay. Oh, look at you all. I've got to stand big them. dragon head. Everyone's Freakish. just a kind word. <laughs> no. Now, everybody, say something, something good. Something good. Something good. Something good. Cheers. 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 Hey. Thank you so Thanks much, everyone. everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank, you, you. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Yep.